Okay, Navla Pomo, day three. Continuing the tour of my Suzuki TL1000R. Yesterday I talked about the uh, characteristics of a V-twin motor. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about the twin spa aluminum chassis, or aluminum chassis as one might say in, in England. Okay, so before the, uh, the twin spa chassis style was developed, the motorcycle um, frames were basically uh, a steel tube that went across the top of the engine. This was called like a double cradle engine because the, the engine was essentially cradled and the chassis came all the way around the engine. What the, 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 the double cradle chassis did, it made the, the proportions of the chassis came around the engine so it was kind of uh, large and bulky. It was also very thin and flimsy, didn't offer a lot of rigidity. Uh, and when a bike starts to flex, um, nasty things happen with the handling. It doesn't feel good and the bike gets out of control. So uh, the twin spark aluminum chassis was developed. You, as you can see, it's a, a big, thick, beefy box section. It's like a box section spa. And there's two spars that come down. This is called the headstock, which is where the, the forks pivot uh, for the steering. And the twin spars will come down around the outside of the, of the engine, making the, the bike much more rigid. You have a, a very thick, rigid um, connection from the headstock to down here, which is called the swing arm pivot, which is where the, the back wheel is, um, is connected to the, to the main chassis. So this is very light, very stiff, and uh, allows better weight distribution. And so really, this style of chassis has really become the, the standard over the last 20 or, or so years. Um, since the, uh, the big Japanese manufacturers pioneered the use of the, the twin spa aluminum chassis. Uh, Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki uh, really have, have made that their mainstay. So um, it's still used in racing, it's still used in all the production bikes that, that have come out of Japan and there really has not been any other design that has proved to be a, a successful. Now some European manufacturers, most famously Ducati, uh, use a um, what's known as a trellis chassis. Um, that also has the same characteristics of lightweight, uh, rigidity, uh, the right amount of flex to give the rider some feel. And that is made up of like steel tubing uh, assembled in triangular sections to create that, that spa cradle around the, around the motor. And um, that's as much as part of their brand and identity as it is part of their, their, their sort of structural design. Okay, so that's the uh, twin spa aluminum chassis characteristics uh, covered. Um, tomorrow I'll talk about suspension, uh, as suspension, tires and the chassis design are all an integral part of what uh, riders call um, handling. And uh, I'll cover suspension, we'll talk a little bit about tires, and then talk about how all this comes together and how this bike feels when you're actually riding it and um, how it handles in the corners. All right, this has been Nagla Plomo Day 3. Thanks for watching. All right, so if you like what you see, please do follow me on Twitter, at Lean Angles, if you like motorcycles, or otherwise, at Influx on Twitter. Um, be seeing you in the coming days. Thanks for watching.